This will be a brief walkthrough of some of the capabilities of the new map, but we encourage people to check it out for themselves. To start, I'll go to a new website, broadmanmap.fcc.gov, an address that will be active for the public shortly after this meeting. The home page provides a small number of options. I can enter an address or choose links to learn about a location or an area, compare areas, get information about providers, or get more information about the data and the site. From the home page, I'm going to type in an address on Observatory Lane in Washington, D.C. I simply select the address I want from the drop-down, hit Enter, and it takes me to information about that location. The left part of this page shows a map, with the census block that contains the address I entered shown as outlined in magenta. The color of the block indicates the number of providers reporting consumer broadband service. On the legend at the upper right, you can see that more providers means a darker color, and that for this block, it's a medium green, which is two providers. It's two providers that offer service among the list of technologies shown at the speed shown. Below that is a list of all providers that report service in the block, regardless of technology or speed. The map is interactive, so I can zoom out and see the number of providers at the block level nearby. If I see a block of interest, say this one that's so much darker, I can click on that block and get information about the providers reporting service there. I can also change the base map that sits underneath the data by clicking on this button over on the left. Then I can adjust the transparency of the data so that I see, for example, satellite imagery of the area. Now I'll move to the Area Summary tab. We have the same map here, though now zoomed out to show the national picture, with the colors again indicating the number of providers for a given set of technologies and speed, with darker still meaning more providers. Now on the right I have a set of graphs. The first one shows what fraction of the population has a different number of providers based on speed. Move the mouse over a bar and this tells me that, nationwide, over 99% of people have a choice of three or more providers of at least 200 kilobits per second using one of the technologies listed. Move over here and I see that over 90% have no options for gigabit download, 100 megabit per second upload service. If I'm interested in a different definition of broadband, I can change that. Simply click here on the gear icon and I can select the technologies and speed of interest. There are a total of 441 combinations to choose from. As I change the technologies and speeds selected, you can see the map and the graph update in real time in the background. I've shown all this for the country overall, but I can also search for individual counties and get the same data. So, for example, I can type in Labette County and pick Labette County, Kansas. Now the map shows that county outlined in magenta, and the graph shows data for just that county. Again, I can pick the definition of broadband and have the map and graphs update to reflect the different combinations I choose. I can also search for congressional districts, census places, things like towns and cities, tribal areas, states, or CBSAs. For each, I can choose from the drop-down list here and have the graph on the right. In fact, I have two more graphs also. Hitting this button on the left to go back to the national level first, I can then hit this button on the right to see the second graph, which breaks out urban and rural areas. And then the third graph, which compares data in tribal and non-tribal areas. Keep in mind that the graphs will display data for whatever area I have searched for and selected. The next tab is the Area Comparison page. This provides an easy way of getting information about multiple areas for comparison. It starts with overall national data for reference. Then I can add information about, for example, all states, and have an easy way to compare the fraction of population with no providers, or with one or more, two or more, or three or more providers. This is a sortable list. And, in addition, I can download the data for offline reference. As with other pages, I can choose the type of broadband that counts in this calculation. If I search for something like counties that returns more rows, I can search within the results for specific counties. The next tab is the Provider Details page. Here I enter in up to three providers and get more information about them. So, for example, if I wanted to get information about some of the larger ISPs, I can type their names, then hit View Details to get information about them. 
Each broadband provider's footprint appears on the map, along with some data about how much of the country they serve. And then, below that, information about the technologies and speeds providers report. By default, the graphs show the breakout for each provider by download speed, but you can click here on the upper right to get information about the provider's reported upload speeds as well. Finally, there are tabs with more information about the data and this application itself that I won't go into today.